Welcome to Dynasty Warriors 4 Empires Part 5. In the last part, we actually took the Nanaman territories away from Shotai. And with the Nanaman territories out of the way, we can go to just about anywhere we want. That's within distance of my lands. And ironically enough, what's in the distance of my lands is Shang Fei. At least two of them, actually. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, Zhang Fei has one too many territories. If push comes to shove, eventually, I will have to take him down completely. But, the time, but for the time being, we're going to take a territory so we can get closer towards him. So we can claim all of his territories and get him out of the way. That's if I have to. But for the most part, I'm taking this territory because it has a weaponsmith. And I need a weaponsmith. So, as a reward for getting the Nyman territories, we get Nyman armor and the elephant harness. Time to put this bad boy into action. Chances are I probably won't be using it as much because I'll be on ground and the Nyman elephant Focus harness is pretty darn slow. But it's powerful as hell, too. And if I'm not mistaken, I recently saw one of the guys who was here. And I do believe it's Taishi Tsu, if I'm not mistaken. And if that's the case, then it's definitely good for me to take this land, because Taishi Tsu should not have a weaponsmith. In fact, Taishi Tsu should not have a high weapon at all. It's going to be a real pain in the ass when Su Su starts descending from the north. But it's best to take the western territories now while I still have the chance. But yeah folks, it's going to really suck once uh, Su Sei actually takes over the north completely. Hopefully I can stop him before then. You have been most helpful. I thank you. But trust me, folks, the more territories past seven the computer has in this game, the tougher they become. So the fact that the commander himself or herself will be nigh invincible. And all of the enemy generals are coming in my direction. I'll take you on. Oh, bloody hell. Just the person I did not want to see. Well, in this game, anyway. I'm pretty sure they watered him... No, I'm more than sure they watered him down in several other renditions of Dynasty Warriors. And by renditions, I mean sequels. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. Let us pull back for now. But I fear Tyson's sub uh, because of the fact that in Dynasty Warriors 4, he has probably the second strongest weapon in the game next to Lubu. That is a scary thought. And what's even more scarier? You think to do battle with He's me? got a pretty powerful combo. And he will pretty much trounce you with it. The computer is not afraid to abuse that combo. Nor am I afraid to abuse any combos with the sword I have. Damn it! But you also gotta keep an eye on your uh Let us pull back for now! Morale meter. Not technically your morale meter, but your troop meter that's up top. Because that can also change in an instant. You see, I, when I first started this battle, I basically had the advantage over Taishi Tsu's forces in this battle. Well, Shang Fei's forces, but Taishi Tsu's leading them. Oh, excuse me. I had the advantage over her forces. You gotta be careful because any officer with more than 
two, three, or four lands. Better to pull back for now. They will get reinforcements in the middle of battle, and they, and those reinforcements may make things a lot worse than what they already are, or the officers with the higher amount of territories in their possession. Why you? Sorry, I got I lost track because of what just happened there. Anyway, well, enemies with the highest uh, territories in their possession will normally increase their uh, troop count from you being at an advantage to you being at a sharp disadvantage. Oh, and that's the Musa of the Elephant. It is pretty damn powerful. Yes, it is exceedingly powerful. I, I mean, I'm surprised it didn't kill out most of the officers, but it's exceedingly powerful. Oh, that's right, I almost forgot. All the minion troops take the strength and HP of the level of the come back officer that you're fighting. See, Zhang Fei had about several level twos in this you have no place here. in this battle. Your taunts are pathetic. So technically speaking, you're gonna have tougher troops. We've Wait till over the enemy some of those home. troops get to level five. When they get to level five, the troops I'll will be harder to now. deal with. All units, and then. Charge! Once the troops get harder to deal with, sometimes the enemies will actually have rallying behind them, even though they're not the actual officer in charge. So, yeah, you've got to keep your eyes on that. Meanwhile, returning so long as I am alive. Yeah, when it comes down to an attack, if your team is like under leveled or have a huge disadvantage as far as troops is concerned, their morale is going to be low off the bat. For uh, low enough to the point where if they lose enough officers, the next time they get captured, no, the next time they get defeated, they'll get captured. So you gotta be careful of that. And in this game, you don't have the ability to control officers to put them on base defense. Unlike Dynasty Warriors 5 and 6 Empires, and Samurai Warriors 2 Empires. You don't have the ability to send them back to the base and send them to defend some other post. Oh, and also, you can't actually do that in the menu. Well, the pause menu, basically. Is that one of your tactics? And thank God that taunt did not work, because I think Sao Rin has less troops than what any other person does. That's because we just got out of fight with the Naimans. No way, he doesn't have less troops. It's that he's at level 1, and most of the troops here are at level 2, especially Taishin Su. But there are some contributing factors to this game, at least, to make a successful battle. You got, like I said, you have to capture the right lands, the right territory, so if you the right stuff to give you an advantage in battles later on in the game. Or more importantly, help officers meet certain criteria so they can become a higher level so you can actually win the battle. Now, you also gotta pay attention to the field because sometimes enemy troops can drop uh, uh, buffs to your defense, buffs to your Muso, and buffs to your attack and speed. 
And that's if you defeat a certain number of officers. Oh, and by the way, if you do find yourself running low on health, you better retreat back to the base that you recently captured and get yourself some other health. Because in this game, granted, you will be seeing a lot of meat buns and sometimes uh, Musso wine. There are certain officers that will even drop like chickens or they'll also drop uh, legs of ham, which will actually restore some of your health. The thing is, you gotta beat them. And that can be a problem if the officer is stronger than you are, and more importantly, faster than you are. And it looks like we've been fighting for about a good 10 minutes. Jesus Christ. Well, once we take this base, we're basically in, go, heading for the main camp. But yeah, like I said, if you ever find yourself in trouble in this game, simply retreat back to the base you recently captured. They will spawn some health items or they will spawn some boost to your abilities. And sometimes the enemy's uh, privates, if you kill them all in one group, can actually drop buffs or arrows. Yes, arrows are in this game. And the only times arrows would be definitely useful is if you're fighting troops on horseback or elephant back. But more importantly, if you're also fighting against officers that are at too far of a range and are basically using a bow and arrow. That's the only time you have the bow and arrows at your disposal. Oh, and the archers that normally are on platforms that you can't reach them. Because this game, you can't climb up towers. Just thought I'd bring that up. And oh Enemy boy, Hong Dong's struggling. That's not a good sign. Is there anything else that I have to talk about today? I just wanted to press only one other, that other issue. That's it. I don't think I have anything else to talk about because I'm heading over to the main camp. And I think Taishin says going somewhere else to get um, another base. Or probably try to take mine to keep me from capturing the main camp. You but it's too late. Because you could basically move and lower out every last uh, officer's here. And you can just simply We're run into the base. Over the enemy stronghold. And they can't take it back on like other bases. So yeah. We just claim yet another base. And eventually that will become a weaponsmith. Which is a good thing. I need weapons. However, I may have to hold off on battle for right now. I may have to, but I also hopefully pray that I get another uh, policy that can heal up all of my troops because I am pretty much out of money right now. Why should I even recruit him? He has policies. I got enough of those guys as it is. Our forces have become quite impressive, wouldn't you say? The Empire is growing nicely. By the 
way, that's what happens when you get five or more territories. So with that said, I now have five territories to my name and some of my troops are getting stronger. And in the next episode, I'll start thinning the herd in some of these officers. So this is RVMan 985 see you guys in part six when I go after yet another land.